a long, long time ago. Well, actually, actually, about a year ago, we tried to do something really weird. We tried to do a two tower chimps with an ultra boost. This is old footage, by the way, from one year ago from uh, a, an older version of Loonstar Defense 6, and we could not do it no matter how hard I tried. With every single tower in the entirety of the game, I could not two tower chimps with the ultra boost. Everything I got, man. We tried our hardest, and we still couldn't do it. The only reason we tried this is because Nichikiwi changed the price from 105000 down to 72 grand. A huge, huge change overall. But it just didn't matter. Even with that giant, giant price decrease, all of these towers stood no chance against Chimps mode. If you're trying to do a two-tower Chimps, it's just too difficult. He just wasn't powerful enough. You couldn't get him fast enough. He couldn't boost the guys any further than that. But then Nichikiwi was like, big brain idea. Let's make him more powerful. Give him more cleansing mobility, make his uh, ability last longer on tier 4s, and even longer on tier 5s, way, way longer on tier 5s. And then on top of that, they recently changed even on top of that, giving him an, the ability to boost him more times. So after all of this, all of these towers could not do two tower chips. But now, can we do it? So believe it or not, yes. Actually, we, ju we just did it. If you watch my most recent video where I talk about the most expensive ways to two tower chimps, we show that it is indeed possible to two tower chimps with the ultra boost. In fact, the Archmage was not only doable, it was actually one of the easiest, most expensive two tower chimps for me to do in the game. Archmage ultra boost was just straight good. So that answers the question, but we can't end the video there. What else can we finally do with the two tower chimps ultra boost combo with? So to start here, just to kind of get the rules or get the gist of what you have to do here, you can do an engineer start and do them pretty much anywhere, but this is probably going to be the optimal position and the optimal map for most of the situations here. You can pop them right about schnaw. You're going to have to buy the middle path engineer, so you're going to get that larger surface area already, and then bam, you got your start. As far as cross paths go, honestly, I think either way probably could work. But I think for our situation here, which is usually having to deal with purple blooms at some point, Sentry Gun's probably the better option here, and it's going to be a, a better start for us anyways, so Sentry Gun's pretty much always optimal, if you ask me. So by round 16, you can buy a Cleansing Foam Engineer, which gives you lead popping power, camo detection, allows you to target it wherever you want to, which usually probably best to put it somewhere near the front over here, or something like that. And, uh, uh... You can get a lot of money going. Like, you can buy pretty much any tower in the game, I think. All right, so we finally lost on round 31, which means we've got over f nearly $5,000 to, to play around with here. Every single tower in the game is at least possible to start off with. So which one are we going to pick? Well, to start, I wanted to try a Pirate Lord. I think he's probably one of the coolest towers in the game, and Nijikibu keeps buffing him and buffing him and buffing him more, and I'm like, dude, I think they're just like, we want the two tower chimps to happen. The last question we have to ask ourselves is, do we need to get camo detection or not? Now, this is a really interesting question because this will open up so many opportunities for different two tower chimps if we don't need to get any camo detection besides just having an overclock or ultra boost going. So what I'm gonna do is, even though I think I'm probably gonna lose, I'm gonna try the monkey pirates with faster shooting just to learn. Can it be enough? Camo detection, just have one cleansing foam random engineer here and randomly change him around or target him if I really need to. So we've got monkey pirates so far and things are going really well. I'm actually kind of, kind of a weird decision to make here. Sometimes it's easier to go for the fifth tier tower first and then try to save up and see if you can get an ultra boost, but there is another option. What if you get the Ultra Boost first? Start boosting your tower, give it more time to get stronger, finally get that fifth tier to beat those last few rounds. Oh, man. If it can work, that is freaking amazing. Just don't forget that you are fighting an uphill battle. We just bought the Overclock here, which gives us a little bit of extra power, but nothing ridiculous. But now we have to save up $77,760. You've got to be kidding me right now. That is insanity. Just so we're clear about that price, 77760 bucks is the same price as a <gasps> anti bloom Actually, the anti bloom is cheaper. That is that is ridiculous. Here is our first camo-ish issue, which is not necessarily a problem with the Monkey Pirates itself, but we did have to micro our cleansing foam a little bit. To be honest, that's pretty solid, at least round 70. Um, that still means that there's no tower that we could possibly buy uh, that would get us to an Ultra Boost faster, because this is probably the most cheapest, best tower combo that we could probably use, but I'm not sure exactly. Oh, I guess a hero. A hero could make this a smidge bit cheaper. Um, by about seven grand-ish, so like, yeah, we still need 70k for that to, to make sense here. So that means we're definitely gonna have to at least beat round 78. 
which is going to be the most problematic round if we're doing this a solo cleansing foam non-camera detection tower. And if I was a little bit tricky, but we're able to pull it off, we're hoping that the regens get de regen here. Um, shoot some cleansing foam on them. Oh crap, oh crap. That could be bad. Uh, my overclock is still active though. All right, 76, <laughs> a lot of regens here. Oh boy, okay, so that, that might be micro bowl through, but maybe not. Oh wait, 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 did we just get it? Oh my God, even 76 went down pretty easily. First try. Okay, this is the round that I'm most definitely worried about. I think this is gonna be too beefy for us. We're gonna have to probably buy Pirate Lord, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh my God, holy crap. Holy crap, we just did it! All right, that was the first set of ceramics. We still have to take on the camo set, though. That's the more difficult set, by the way. Okay, we got purples trying to get in our way right now. We're gonna overclock a little closer to when the blooms come out. And, uh, I might, I might have to micro my cleansing foam here a little bit. See, there we go, cleansing foam down here. Gotta hit the camos up there, over there. I don't know if I hit them all or not, but I hope that I did. Throw in the front now, just to kind of clean out. Oh, there's a lot of camo blooms still. Oh my god, there's a lot of camo blooms. Oh, crap. Oh, snap. Okay, so that, maybe, maybe. But it, it's not looking good right. With that combo, now I can ultra boost or overclock my engineer instead. And see if that will decamo more blooms. Maybe. Get us through this thing. Still got a micro quite a bit here. Um... Still a lot of camo blooms, man. Even with this ultra boosted cleansing foam nonsense. It's like the cleansing foam's getting absorbed by the wrong thing, and we do. We take it down. Alright, so we're still uh continuing on. Dying young we're around to 89 right now. Um about two grand away. So it looks like we're probably gonna get it on this round. I'm gonna try not using my ability here. I'd like to save it for the DTs just in case. I don't know, sometimes DTs can be really freaking stupid, so. Uh uh, we're going to use this ability anyways, because I think it resets now. So, ooh, oh, oh! Dang. Okay, I just said screw it, and I'm glad that I said screw it. Just use my ability, because guess what? We got it back just in time here. We're about to buy that ultra boost. Kind of excited here. Oh. Uh, my camp protection is in the back back here. I forget if the, this thing can hit the non-decamo DDT, but with their camo, they definitely can get hit. All right, and we will survive here. Still no real cam detection on our power lord. Kind of insane right now. Um, any which way, Ultra Boost is ready to go. There it is, and it does have a cooldown. Okay, that's kind of upsetting. Ugh. It means we do have to wait even longer to get this going here. Oh, and we lose. Which isn't that big of a deal, because it means we're going to use this uh, ability. Then we wait to get the money, then we buy this guy, and then it doesn't matter because the cooldown just resets anyways, so we get to use this thing and take the advantage of it. I'm not saying we're in the money, but we are officially ultra boosting a tower for the first time today. The Pirate Lord is ultra boosted, and that is a good sign. I mean, again, not a guaranteed win by any means, but uh, I want this to happen as much as possible. Now, interestingly enough, you may think that using the Pirate Lord ability will help you out, but because we can use ultra boost, uh, uh, up to 10 times now, and more than 3 times per round. The longer I keep the balloons on the screen, the better off I am, because I would get the ability to Ultra Boost more. Now, interestingly enough, I might have to not Ultra Boost the Pirate Lord completely. I might have to swap to Ultra Boosting my Ultra Boost. Now, this sounds stupid, uh, obviously, because you're like, whoa, 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 Chris, I mean, clearly we need the popping power here, but realistically, maybe we need the camo detection. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do at least one Ultra Boost to my Ultra Boost. Um, might have to do two, might have to do three. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to 10 times Ultra Boost. I'm a Pirate Lord automatically, but I'd like to try. And I think I'm gonna need the help on 94 anyway, so we're gonna go for at least one of these abilities here. 95 is a scary round for everybody. Again, no automatic camo detection here, so we have to decamo with our Ultra Boost. I have the ability ready to go, and I think I gotta do it to the Pirate Lord, I think. But we got camo blooms up the wazizzle right here. Um, and scary stuff. We're getting overwhelmed a lot. Okay, okay, back up here, I guess. Just throw it on top of the balloons if possible. I mean, that's the the optimal position until we're getting overwhelmed here. Oh, we're getting overwhelmed. Okay, still alive. Now we want to hit the DDTs as soon as possible. Can we? Oh boy. 
Oh boy, this is like late DDT hits, but we can Ultra Boost the Pirate Lord again. I can kill some of these guys with an insta-kill. And the question is, can he kill all the rest of it with just a regular attack here? Um, it's looking not too great right now. And we do get overwhelmed. So unfortunately, this is not looking good here. We get a couple blooms that sneak through on this guy. And then we do have to micro just a tiny bit. It's not like a huge deal to, to shoot out a couple cleansing foams in a different spot. Um, but it does lead us to having to do some weirder micro here and there. Uh, hoping that the cleansing foam just kind of keeps up. And then we have to make sure that we ultra boost again uh, uh, on the Pirate Lord to get as many ultra boosts as possible to get our six times ultra boost. We can try to kill the first six DDTs which keeps us in the game here, but don't forget that we still have to pop all the rest of the DDTs without any extra help from uh, uh, basically this guy. So th they're just gonna sneak right through. So no, Pirate Lord, we cannot do it like this. This is kind of awkward, but I just want, again wanna say thank you. Thank you guys so much. Like I've seen a lot of comments out there saying like, Chris, I specifically used your credit support code to support you. Even though I don't normally buy things in Blue Star Defense 6, I wanted to buy the fast track for you. And I was like, oh my God, that looks like seriously so nice. So uh, big shout out to you guys. Just huge shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for using it. Uh, and hopefully you're enjoying the content because I've really been trying to like up my game a little bit lately. But uh, thank you again so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart. So the thing we got to try now is what if we give some detection to our power lord. First of all, it gives us extra range, which is something we did not have before. Usually the fast shooting is better, but we're playing on sandbox, we're sandbox mode right now, not on a real game, just to kind of test things out, see if 95 is possible, if we do it a different way. Now, obviously, we'd want to make sure that we, uh, 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 get him ultra boosted even further. I probably didn't even need to ultra boost this guy at one times anymore. Um, I can still insta kill the first ones. And with no monkey knowledge available, will 95 be, be done? And it seems like we just don't shoot fast enough. Pirate Lord ultra boost combo is a no go. How unfortunate, man. I wanted it to be. I will be honest and say that I thought I was going to be successful. I thought the Pirate Lord was going to do better. In fact, if you watch my old video from a year ago, the Pirate Lord was one of the better towers to use in, ta in combination with that guy. I got to Route 97, I think, or maybe even 98, which is, is crazy, but not anymore. So what's our next possible two tower chimps? Well, how about a freaking boomerang? I'm thinking we go top path. We try for a Glaive Lord. If we can ultra boost a Glaive Lord, a fairly cheapish fifth tier tower again, something that's kind of important. Um, we can get him going fairly early, get it probably 10 times overclocked by the end of the game. I, you know, perfectly positioned on this map. It, I, it seems possible. The nice thing that we learned from our Power Lord strategy is that we don't need any additional camo detection for a long time. So that means even though Glaive Lord doesn't have camo detection until we reach fifth tier, it does give camo detection eventually, which is important for us. You know, we can't really take down some of the tougher rounds without it. Plus we can ultra boost all Boomerang instead of any uh, of these guys at all. Just knowing that is definitely helpful. Cross path on Boomerang, 100% gotta be the Red Hot Rings, not because of round 28, but because of late game. DDTs are gonna be troublesome, so just get it now. If we can beat 54, which I think we can, we'll have a Glaive Lord. Uh, we got a couple more mobs to take down. Uh, every mob's been a little bit tricky, but manageable. Oh my god, $35 away. And there it is, Glaive Lord is up! Beautiful. I mean, there's no way we're gonna lose to at least round 80, right? There's no way. So this should go fantastic, I hope. We've been blasting through the game so far. Glaive Lord is freaking amazing. I don't even need to overclock him yet. He's just, he's just dominating. We're $4,000 away, but we've got DDTs here. A little bit concerned about them. Let's see how we doing. Take him down. All right, if we can take down those, uh, yeah, we're gonna have no problem against almost all the DDTs until round 99. It's about the beefiness of them, not the amount of them. And we're about to get that ultra boost. We're gonna buy it as fast as possible. The only kind of sad thing here is I can't stall the game. I can't make it go slower. So Glaive Lord's just gonna do his thing. Ultra boost is obviously just gonna do his thing. And we're kind of at the mercy of the game here on the ultra boost. But every single boost that I get is gonna go straight into my Glaive Lord here. So I have a feeling every round here is gonna be super duper easy until possibly round 100. Maybe round 100 is gonna be our killer. Because obviously we need to make sure that we're doing uh, like 30,000 damage to the bad balloon and then still pop the DTs on the inside here. So pretty much going to guarantee that I need a 10 times overclock Glaive Lord to even have a chance here. But it looks like that's going to be possible. Let's check out these DTs though. Just get up for good measure. DTs should be simple at this point. I mean, first wrap around here, we're just dominating them. Before they even wrap out a second or a third or even the fourth time. 
Oh my goodness, that's beautiful to watch. 97 can sometimes help us gauge how the bad balloon's gonna go. Um, I don't really like what I'm seeing right now. I know that we're gonna beat 97, but I don't know. I don't know, it's definitely looking a little tricky here. I don't think it'd be worth us worth it for us to ever overclock this guy, but we could do at least one. I um, mean, he's technically maxed out. We could do one real quick. Is that was that worth it? I don't just, I don't think so. But I think it's gonna little, give us a little bit of bonus here as long as we can get one more before 99 or 100. So 98 though, absolutely stunningly beautiful. By the way, around 99, we're just gonna boost him. Um, and reinforce DDTs. Thought they were gonna be a little bit tricky, but they are not. Round 100 here, guys. Can we do it, though? Can we do it? Let's watch this poppage. We gotta get at least like 30k, so we're looking at like 77,000 is our goal. Let's see how close that's gonna be. Um, he's getting, getting a little tiny bit here. 77,000. Mm, we're about 10 done. Um, we got some room to attack here, but not a great amount. He's still kind of technically hitting it. We're about 20k done. Uh, I got another boost here. I might have missed that. Um, we're a few thousand dollars away. A few thousand pops away. So there it is. We popped that. DDTs are getting missed right now. And no! Very close, though. Yeah, I think I did a slightly better job ultra boosting this time, but maybe not perfect. I think it was about as perfect as I could probably get it. Oh, no. It's the exact same thing happening. We're not decamoizing it. And, ugh. Oh, we got the DDTs! Uh, doesn't mean the Zoma Gods are gonna go down, but much more likely, in my opinion. Um... Yeah, maybe. This is a 10 times Ultra Boost's Glaive Lord. I mean, I, we got a little bit of room here, but they're only BFPs. Come on. Just do it for me. Just do it. You know you want. Take them down. Take them down. Everything on the inside, too. Looking alright. Looking scary. And we do it. Glaive Lord Ultra Boost is possible. So I had a wicked idea that maybe Inferno Rank would be a good idea. Unfortunately, round 60 has a different thing in mind. We can't afford it by five grand, but we can afford an overclock. So if we overclock this guy, that might work, but it means we might have to overclock for quite a few rounds here to make sure that we can actually afford that Inferno Rank. So, is this going to be possible? I mean, it looks really cool. I'll give it that. It looks very powerful. I'll definitely give it that. And it looks like, oh my god, easily. No problem. Just a few balloons to clean up here, and we do take down the BFB. Unfortunately, we still have a purple issue. So, we have to overclock now our engineer to get through round 62, I think. I think. It's going okay. Not horrific. We've got some reinforced MOABs coming in, which are kind of like BFB-esque here. Uh, looks like we managed the first one, overclocked this puppy, and we're good. 63 is another really beefy round, but we're pretty big ring of fire, actually. It's usually really good against it. It's like we're to dominate, no problem. Boom, round 72, Inferno Ring. Now, the unfortunate thing about the Inferno Ring is that back in the day, we'd get that bonus cam detection for the meteor itself. But we don't get that anymore. So we are relying entirely on the cam detection of the overclock and eventually the ultra boost which could be a downfall to be clearly honest like this probably was possible maybe at some point with some weird combination of different updates but i don't know man it just doesn't seem like it's gonna work right or it just seems too sketch but we obviously gotta give it a try right oh man run around 88 right now which is awesome because we're still doing very very well like we're kind of dominating right now but we still have twenty-two thousand dollars. we need to get an ultra boost and that just scares the poops out of me so how well we dealing with DDTs right now? Actually, not half bad. But round 95 is going to be different. You got to deal with those camo purples, camo leads, and camo DDTs all at the same time with no help from our freaking Inferno Ring here. And we're still 7,000 dollars away from this guy. So luckily, we can beat round 94 no problem. Round 95, we're probably gonna have to go. You know what? Let's go for an early ultra boost on this guy, and then probably or just not even ultra boost, overclock on this guy. Try to get more sentries going, and then do another one as soon as I can get the upgrade right. I don't know if it's gonna help us out that much, but every little bit can count here. You know, it seems stupid, but a couple extra sentries make a couple extra uh, uh, things go right. Um, right now though, not looking good. Um, here's my second overclock. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, I can't really aim either. It's just kind of, mm. Oh, look at the money too. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. I could buy, I could buy the Ultra Boost now, but I think it's too late. Ooh, I think. Uh, maybe. We're still kind of alive. Um, we got the decamelized the DDTs, but I, oh, I mean, I did survive. But, but I needed my camera detection to be up here, I think. Because now the DTs are going to kill me. Okay, that's as good as we're going to freaking get it, man. That is as good as we are going to get it right there. Cleansing foam in the front, decamelizing everything. I don't have an ultra boost ready to go. So it's got to be the way this has got to be. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be so upset, though. We got Blooms wrapping around right now. I got him back to first right now. The Ultra Boost could maybe land in time. We got to hope that all these ceramics get taken down right now by the Inferno Ring. Ultra Boost is up. No way. No way. Oh, we did it! Oh, that took forever, but we finally made it happen. So again, even though this seems kind of stupid, I'm gonna leave my Inferno Ring on first, not on strong. Strong is usually better, but first allows me to leave them on the screen for just a smidge longer. It's probably not gonna matter much, but every little bit will matter just a tiny, tiny bit. To be honest, I am kind of afraid of round 99 though. Um, I actually am more afraid of round 99 than 100, I think. Um, I gotta hope that these meteors can literally blast through multiple DDTs or something like that, because unfortunately, again, I can't get my cleansing foam uh, anywhere else but here. So, I've got them on strong. You can't hit camo blooms at all. Gotta wait for the DDTs to get decamelized first, but we got a six times overclock. Okay, we blasted a lot of them. We blasted quite a few. Three left, two left, one left. Just a few balloons. That's gonna be easy. We got it cleaned up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now, the bad. All right, so again, usually the bad isn't that bad for an Inferno Ring, because it's got these meteor attacks. They're shooting real fast here. He's already like one third done. There's no way he's gonna survive this. And again, an Inferno Ring. Ultra Boost Two Tower Chimps is also possible here. Kind of ridiculous. All right, DDTs. Though 95 was an intense round, man. That was the trickiest part of the entire run right here. Wow, and almost two million pops too. We got another fun little uh, question mark here for ya. What about an ultra boost with a, whoa. Okay, okay, that sounds fun. But we do have one common weakness with this strategy. Generally, wizards aren't very good against purple blues. And the overclock engineer in general is okay against purple blues, but only if you do it just right. Like, just, just, just right. As you can plainly tell, we lose to round 95 a lot. We need a lot of extra help here to make it work, and, like, sometimes we need to manage it. Ooh, crap, 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 Oh, freaking pitch. Wait, we also have an option here with, uh, maybe doing a wolf start. Maybe doing an ultra boost start. I don't know which one's better. But I have two fourth tiers here, so I'm just going to see which one that I can afford. If I can afford it, I'm probably going to go for the ultra boost. If I can't, I'm probably going to have to go wolf. But one of the biggest dilemmas with this strategy in general is that the more expensive your fifth tier tower is, the less likely you are to get it in a reasonable amount of time to get any meaningful ultra boost out of this thing. Um, you know, when we're getting a $30,000, you know, pirate lure or something like that, we can get it in time, like, to, to make something happen. When we're getting a $54,000 tower, I mean, we're talking the late 90s, probably. The cool thing is, we do have enough money for Wolk on round 78, and uh, the question is, do we want to push it? I mean, I, 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 wanna, I don't want to try. I, I don't know if it's the right option. I, I, would, I would assume, in fact, that it is, it is, in fact, the wrong option. But, but maybe it's not. Um, it'd be really cool if we could get a 10 times ultra boosted summon Phoenix and then randomly get a whoop on round like 96 or something when we actually need it. Okay, so super ceramics. This is kind of weird. Um, they're not that bad actually. They're like not easy, but compared to a lot of other random towers, like he's not doing a bad job. Um, timing Phoenixes properly though is going to be very, very tricky, and timing Phoenix overclock combos is going to be really tricky, and trying not to pop the BFBs too quickly is going to be really, really hard, because we still need another 7 grand here, and again, that's not an automatic win once we get that thing, that's just, uh, now we have the ability to overclock something, and maybe get a smidge more extra popping power. But I don't know if it's going to be possible. 
Okay, I don't feel like I gave it my all, but I gave it a pretty good amount of shots. Still 10 grand away. I think the wolf has to be done. It's gotta be one time. So the good, good news is, is it's pretty much, pretty much an automatic win for at least like 10 rounds or so, but we're gonna be playing late game, saving up another 60 grand, dude. It's gonna be a late wolf bolt for boost. Dang, dude, round 95. Is not a fun round, by the way. We're still a whopping $13,000 away from what we need. And technically, you can wolf through some of the purples. Technically, you could also maybe use the overclock on this guy and get more cleansing foam to happen. Maybe. Um, maybe you could make that work together properly to just delay the inevitable which is you know, lots of, of things killing you near the end here. Um, any which way, we gotta use it last second. We gotta see if we can pop all the DTs with one single wolf here. Mm. Okay. Okay. And we got a lot of them. At least like maybe a half of them. We do have, ultra, we do have a, a boost here. All right, boost it. Uh. Oh, not looking good there. Not looking good at all. There's like 15 DDTs still on the screen. Okay, much, much, much later, Wolf. We just decamped with the purples. We say screw the leads for most of the game here. Uh, we got a real chance. We got a real shot here. That's a Wolf on DDT action. And it looks like that is gonna go down. Beautiful. We're still uh nearly 10 grand away from Ultra Boost, but... That should happen on round 96, I think. We get a lot of money on this round. Oh yeah, look at the money flowing in. Look at the money flowing in! Now don't forget that when we get the Ultra Boost, it's not there. So we still have to wait for the entirety of the thing to come up too. <sighs> 97 is not a lot of money, so this might be a round 98 Ultra Boost, which is absurd. Um... We're gonna go like this, double dose it. Why not? Who cares, man? And wait, wait, wait. I actually don't want it to go quickly. I actually don't want it to pop quickly, but there it is. We popped quickly, anyways. Alright, nice slow round, though. We will get at least one ultra boost on our wolf before round 98. So I made an accident. I accidentally, <laughs> accidentally used my Phoenix too early here. Uh, and we're on round 98. Okay, hopefully that didn't screw things up. But if we did screw things up, I am just going to use the challenge editor to get myself back in this section right here with at least two of these guys. Um, but I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to whoop this at the right time. Um, I almost say last second here. Uh, I cannot have the wolf pop everything. That's the main thing. I need to leave a couple things on the screen to slowly clean them up later. It looks okay, but it might actually be not enough stuff clean up. Lots of Zomagod oh left. Lots of reinforced blue flag. We get another wolf available, but I cannot use it. I need it for 99. Absolutely need it. Um, these are just regular blooms, though. But I, I want to. I want to leave the big blooms on the screen if possible. Now I could wolf at the very last second here. That is a, a reasonable thing to do. I want to. All right, actually looks pretty good. A few more blooms to take down. The last ish second wolf is in the cards right now. I think. Um. I'm going to do it. Last-ish second wolf. Round, it's going to work our way into round 99. Just going to kill most of the DDTs. Get another ultra boost up into uh, six of these guys. And that wolf is going to take down all the DDTs and be ready for round 100, which is also a very important thing to do. In fact, this is about as perfect as I think we can get it. Come on, still pop it, though. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Don't miss. Don't miss. Come on, suck my balls. No. Okay, do better. Do better. Do better. Don't miss this time. Don't miss this time. Okay, yes. Yes. Just about as good as you can get it, dude. Just about as good as you can get it. We got a Phoenix ready to pop. We got our seventh overclock here, our Ultra Boost. And uh, we need about 30k damage. So as soon as we see 30k, we win. So we see like 27k, we probably win. Um, though it is much slower than that. Much, much slower than that. Much, much slower than that. Way too slow. Oh my god, I don't even know what I am. I'm like Mickey Mouse and a horse combined together or something like that. Oh boy. All right, um, we got a long time. It's good news. We get another wolf boost ready to go. We're gonna need another wolf, I think. And you know what? Sometimes time is your friend. This is a very, very long map. So uh, the question is, do we wolf right now? Let's ultra boost one more time. The wolf. That's a ten time to ultra boost. Wolf right there. 
with a last-ish second Phoenix. That's gotta be it. There's no way. No way that thing can survive. Boom, one more hit. One more good hit. Oh, maybe they can survive. Come on, get him and get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, whoa, whoa, we popped it way quicker. And I actually don't want to pop this on my gods right now. I'm going to wait for the next wolf to come out. Ooh, we're still kind of popping it. I need one more wolf, though. Take it slow, take it slow. Don't even overclock it, man. Oh boy, this is going to be tight. This is going to be really tight. I got him on first still. I think that's okay. Uh, Ultra boost into the wolf to finish it off, baby. And it can be done to tower chimps with a ridiculous whoop overclock combo. Mm, long break for Chris. We just woke up, but we got a couple tests we can run. Instead of doing an entire run, sometimes we just test around with what we think we should have over here. And at this point, we've got an Apache Prime, but with just an overclock, not an ultra boost. We still need another 20-ish grand if we do it this way, but we can do an overclock and just see, will this magically be better? So we can go like this, we can go like this, we can go like that, and just see if Apache Prime is even close to being good enough, even if I do a better job at putting him on like follow mouse or something like that, shooting down straight lines whenever possible. And round 95 is just going to be way, 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 way too strong. There's just, just no way. I mean, like, we, you can try, you can get close. You can get close-ish. Where you're like, oh my god, like, maybe it's possible, but you're like, no, 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 it's just not. And this one's an interesting one, because we can actually get, like, a 10-ish times overclocked carrier flagship and still have enough time to maybe overclock the Ultra Boost at least once. So, <clears throat> let's check out round 95 here and see if this is going to be a majestic and magical awesome answer. In addition, let's go middle path. No cable change, because we know that that is possible to survive at least until round 78. And honestly, if we're allowed to overclock this guy by round 78, like, may maybe, maybe... All right, round 95, though, with a 10 times Ultra Boost Care Reflection. Mm, I can't believe that this is going so bad. You would expect this to be more powerful, like 10 times. Just no way. So what about Churchill? He's, he's one of the heroes that we can actually get in the game that's actually pretty freaking strong. In addition, because we're only spending $2,000 here, we can get the Ultra Boost even quicker than just about any other tower in the game. Yes. Um, we can get camera detection actually afforded here for around 24, which is awesome. Uh, and we got the automatic lead popping power and everything, so it like, helps us out quite a bit. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting run. But I will say that we tried this before and we did end up losing. So here's the cool thing. We're just about uh, halfway to Ultra Boost at this point, And we had, we've had to do nothing. Uh, Churchill has actually dominated so far entirely. I haven't even had to use a boost yet. So uh, it doesn't mean it's going to go that way forever. But for now, this is awesome. We're 20k away and it's still going okay. This is actually quite phenomenal. Now, don't forget the reason why this may be possible now is not because Ultra Boost got buffed. But because yes. Churchill, and I can't say buffed, but changed. He is different now. He works in a slightly different way. He's slightly better against the grouped blues, I think, is the way it works. But it's like it's kind of a combination of weird things. In which way, it's kind of exciting to know that maybe, just maybe, this might be possible now. Just to show you, round 76 is usually like a big deal. Usually it's a Churchill killer extraordinaire. Uh, 75 was mildly difficult, but not horrific. 76, though. We're gonna go bam and bam and see if this is just gonna go down easy or if it's gonna be a, a major Churchill killer. Um... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Plus cleansing foam combo equals automatic win there. Beautiful. 79 was another notorious Churchill problem round. Now, this cleansing foam is gonna be helpful here, but still not great. And we gotta use an early Churchill ability here just to stay in the game. Oh, don't tell me that this is going to be the problem for us. From 79. Oh, we got a lot of black blues, a lot of regen blues still trying to kill us here. We have to use another Churchill ability just to stay alive right now. I'm going to not use my other abilities yet at all. Uh, I want to keep this alive for longer, believe it or not, not shorter. Uh, if I use this thing, it'll pop the BFBs, yes, but it'll make them all Moabs and they'll run through faster. Instead, I'll use this ability just to pop things that I need to pop a little bit quicker. And we might have to use this on the, uh, the reinforced uh, BFBs. I'm not sure yet. But, oh my god, we're like almost there. $1,700 away, dude. Hey, last BFB looking pretty good. We're going to use our ability to just take it down. Confirm. And, oh my goodness gracious. All right, so we got a, a nice ability on this, oh my god. Um, that should be enough to pretty much annihilate this puppy. 
and then game over. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. This could be tricky because this is going to happen right on round 81 when the super ceramics start coming out, which are oftentimes a weird, weird issue. So I want to try to get this guy literally as soon as I can with $6 left, though. That's as good as you can get it. I want the balloons to stay on the screen for longer, believe it or not, so I can get this ultra boost going so I can hopefully start to power Churchill up. Now, at this point, if we lose... It's unfortunate, but just the way it is. Like, there's nothing I can do about it now. Oh, that's a lot of balloons. That's a lot of balloons. But Churchill Ultra Boosted! That's gotta be helpful. All right, Super Ceramics are a problem. Super Ceramics are a big problem. Gotta use our ability here just to try to stay alive for a little bit longer. Um, dang. That was only one Ultra Boost, too. We got a second Ultra Boost ready to go, though. Oh my god. I like want to use another one of these abilities, but I think I have to do it slow again. Just kind of keep it continuously pumping out some balloons here and get my abilities back as much as I possibly can. Cool thing here is a third ultra boost got played on just round 81, so we're going to have a 10 times ultra boost to Churchill in like a round or two. As absurd as that is. If I could survive. Uh, it looks okay, actually. Um, no guarantees, obviously, but it's a slow rush. Ooh, this is going to be the toughest part right here. It's going to be the toughest part by far. Um, oh, I could buy another level. I'm just going to buy it. I don't need the money for anything else. Four times Ultra Boost to Churchill in just one round. All right, still a bit of a tough round. I'm going to try to not use my ability here, and we do it. Round 81 is done. We have a four times Ultra Boost to Churchill. Seven times Ultra Boost to Churchill. At this point, it's kind of nice to know that we can just spend all of our additional money here directly on leveling him up, when normally... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh a green balloon! Okay, slightly better combo. Uh, still a little bit difficult. We have no abilities left on 83, but we're again alive. Seven times ultra boosted, and we can almost level them up even further. Now, I don't think we're going to reach level 20, you know, with this additional money that we have, but we could probably get up to at least like 16, 17 by the end of the game, which is kind of cool. Now, even though it seems weird, what we can do if we want to, and maybe this is a bad idea sometimes, but I could try on specific rounds like 85 and 87 to not pop things very quickly. And actually Ultra Boost my Ultra Boost. It might seem silly, but this may help us out on weird rounds like regen rounds and stuff like that. Or uh, just getting that little bit of extra pop and power, if at all possible. In addition, I never bought the faster engineering, which I think at this point I'm just going to do. Um, I, I don't think $400 is going to change the game for me on a Churchill level here. But either which way, this is the way we have to kind of play it here. We're going to do this kind of like funky-ish now. Now that we have a nine times ultra boosted guy here, uh, there's no point at ultra boosting him to get an ultra boost. But to get an actual overclock, it is important. All right, it's official 10 times ultra boosted ultra boost. Uh, I think this might be the only tower in the entire game that you can do this with. But we're still not done with chimps mode. We can still lose. Okay, cool thing is though, we have the ability to buy levels now, but I'm just gonna wait. I'm kind of curious, like, can we do it without buying the levels? All right, I wanted to make sure that I had both of my abilities ready for round 90, so we're struggling a little bit here at the end by not using our abilities to make this happen. So can we do it? Nah. We'll, we'll get it though, we'll get it. Close enough for me. Oh, easily close enough. Beautiful, round 90 now. Check it out. Um, we don't need to decamelize them, but it's better if we do. Churchill cannot hit DDTs with his regular attacks. We can blow them up with the missiles, but oh my god, that's not looking fun. All right, DDTs again, I'm gonna have to blast these puppies. Uh, that goes swell, though. That's not too shabby. All right, ridiculously enough, we popped the Zone of Gods too quickly, I think. Let's see if we can get these things back. I need them, well, I don't need need them for round 95 start. I just need them on round 95 when I actually need them here. So, yeah, that's that's good enough for me. Okay, so we've got $50,000 saved up, so we can buy at least one more level with Churchill. Maybe two, depending on what we got going on here. And I'm just going to say, screw it, I'm going to do it. Okay, ooh, and we can buy another level here. Uh, but all we get is increased attack speed. Which doesn't really help us much, besides the fact that we can use our ability now to pop DTs a little bit. All right. We're going to use these missiles here to blow up as many DTs as possible now. Oh my god, we don't even get that many, though. Oh, boy, and our ability's about to run out. But, unbelievably, we get every single DT besides one. Just one, just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. No. Get out of here, dude. Okay, slightly weirder missile launching thingamajig when a lot of DTs are on the screen. We get a lot of them right there. 
I got him on last right now to try to shoot through as many balloons as possible. Not even sure if that's going to work here. But now we have to wait as long as possible to use this thing and back to first. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's got to last, man. It's got to last. It's not going as well as last time, I don't think. But maybe. I'm not strong. Oh, oh one yellow. Just one yellow. I think we... Oh, and that was with... Out spending the two dollars on the levels. Holy crap. So we got this easy. We can make this happen. No problem. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this domination now. Okay. All we got to do is pop that last DT. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. One more shot. One more shot. One more shot. Yes. We did it. Yes. Round 95 is completed. Not a win yet, but that is probably the largest hurdle for us to hop here. Now, not only do we have to beat round 98, but I need my abilities back on round 99. So that's the thing that we have to do. Let's try it. So first of all, we're going to use that ability. I'm going to use this nice and early because I think we're going to need to use it again. No problem. I'm also going to put this guy on last for a second just to get this going. And we get the money for it. We got a level 17 Churchill now. Probably not reaching level 18 though, unfortunately. Last is going to work for a little while here. Machine Gun looks like it's taking down a lot of these uh, uh, ceramics here. I got to swap back at first. Take this. Oh my god, it's down slower now. I want, oh no, slower! Slower! Um, I have to use my other ability here. I have to hope that we could just uh, stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive, Churchill. Come on. You know you wanna. All right, I have another ability here, but I cannot use that. I just have to hope. Hope for the love of everything. This is good enough here, but I don't know if it's going to be. Mm, that's gonna be tight. No, it's not gonna be enough. And, like, I could probably use my ability here to survive, but no. Just can't do it. Okay, randomly pop things, like, too quickly, actually. Maybe. Uh... Um, yes. Okay, that's kind of okay. I think that might be good enough. Good enough. Good enough, I think. Okay. We got it back for round 99 here. Not too shabby. This is going to do most of the work, obviously. But but if I could, randomly, I would actually like to just use this thing to beat them all. Um, if I, Because that would allow me to keep this for the bad balloon, which is possibly going to be a tough round as well. And it looks like mm, maybe we do. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that, believe it or not. We cannot afford a level 18 Churchill, but we can right away get that big blast flowing. And we got to hope that we can get a full-on... Um, 30,000 pops here, easy. How's it going? Actually, not bad. I think we're going to get it. Based on what I'm seeing here, maybe. We've got a couple of abilities to use, Hill. Uh, we might have to be careful against the DDTs again, because we have to make sure we have this ready for DDTs, though. So that could be hard to time. I'm going to try to do one more time around, though. Okay, one more time. Oh, that was terrible. All right. Now oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, baby. Yes, get it. Holy crap, we did it. Oh my god, easy takedown here for round 100. I don't even need to use this ability. I'm just going to take it down with this one. And we've done it. A two tower chimps Churchill ultra boost combo. What a wombo of a time here today. Beautiful. Maybe I'm being premature here, but I wanted to try a poppin' aw. Okay, he's been, he's pretty freaking awesome, but he did get nerfed quite a bit recently. So I'm not sure if he's going to be absolutely amazing. But one thing I want to test out really quickly is will it be better to get a bigger blast or better to get a bottom path here? And I assume it's probably going to be better to get a bottom path. So I'm going to do is I'm going to try something a little goofy here. I'm going to go for a quick ultra boost with a, a, a couple ultra boosts, you know, just like three of them or something like that. And we're going to send out round 98. I just want to see what's going to happen here. So round 98 with three ultra boosts. I will continue to ultra boost this guy nonstop here. And I just want to see if I... Let's just leave it in one spot. Let's not do anything fancy so I can actually officially test here. Um, That's not looking too good, to be honest. Uh, I mean, if I have to use a pop and all ability, that will help out quite a bit. But balloons... Yeah, actually, you can take down all the balloons in the backpack here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But I don't think this is going to be enough, man. All right, there's no way that's going to work. What about a pop and awe with a balloon buster? Okay, similar-esque thing going on here. We don't get the Bernie stuff to, to work over time here, so we're definitely going to have to use that ability at, like, the right time. We can use it there. Ultra boost that combo. And it's, uh, it's just not going to happen, I don't think, dude. I mean, maybe... Yeah, I'm not going to say it's going to be a pop. Let's give it a shot at least. So in case you're curious, artillery battery is possible to get, which is kind of fun. We are going to do the top cross path. It seemed like it was a smidge better against rounds like round 98, which is probably going to be the biggest issue for us. So uh, we're going top path here. Maybe a mistake. Not entirely sure at this point. Um, either way, I feel pretty comfy for a while, but oh my god, I don't think this is going to work, to be honest. So also, you can get a pop and off. Uh, just got to fun to know that that is possible with a random cleansing foam engineer, but, 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 I don't 
want to try to do anything too crazy, because if I wanted to, I'd have to save up another $90,000 to get the Ultra Boost, and he can't do it with the Pop Ultra Boost. He just can't. Okay, I mean, like, so far it's going great. <clears throat> but I just have to get popping off. It has to be done. So, uh, I'm doing it. I, I don't even want to fight for, for the artillery battery combo. It'll make me so angry to try. That's why I really like this map. Uh, normally, I'd pick a map like Resort or Logs, but Logs doesn't have that many really good explosion areas. Um, and Resort, the problem is, is you can't control where you hit the blues. So, for example, on this map, I could just say, you know what, I'm just going to pop everything in the back until all the ceramics are gone. I can move it back to the front. I can overclock and move them to the back and, and, and like, micro to make things happen properly. But I can't really do that in Resort. It's kind of just like you put it in a spot and then if you mess up, like, sucks to suck, bro. So, um, so far things are going really good, though. Uh, we need $17,000 more to get the Ultra Boost, which does not seem impossible, but I do have a couple tough rounds coming up. DDT rounds. So I have to hope that my artillery battery is strong enough with an ability to slow down the DDTs and just damage them all and kill them all, but uh, admittedly, this is the toughest round so far. Reinforced balloons are the biggest issue for me at the moment. We're trying to micro this at the last second. Um, I really don't want to use another ability. I really can't use another ability here. We're just going to hope this is enough back here. Uh, could be tight. Could be tight. But we manage. All right, DDTs now. Check it out. I'm really curious. Okay, so with no help from an ability... We can damage it quite a bit. Uh, we can pop some DDTs at the very least. And we can pop at least three of them with no additional help at all. That's beautiful. If we micro actually good, we can do things like this. Where we kind of follow the balloons along the way. And then find like a nice nook to just leave them in for a second. Uh, but we are $5,000 away. Round 94 is going to be that money for us. So I'm going to try to do a quick artillery battery. Start getting an ultra boost. And see if we can start doing a slowdown of the gameplay. I don't want to pop these things quickly. I want to take as long as possible. So I can ultra boost as much as possible. Again, not easy to do. But you might be able to do something crazy. Like like, like specifically not kills oh my gods sometimes. I, I, I don't know. That's going to work exactly. But we can try. Uh, and just popping the front balloons here. We'll leave like one oh my god alive if possible. And I can get more Ultra Boost on this guy, because I officially have a first Ultra Boost! Thank you so much, little buddy. Um, keep him alive, keep him alive. Every little bit is going to matter here, I think, because this might be like a DDT nightmare or something like that. All right, that's done. And I can't use my ability here, unfortunately. I'm going to need it for 95. I just don't want to mess things up, things up. So at the very least, we get a two times Ultra Boost on this guy. And we'll clean them all up back here, I think. Hopefully, ideally. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. 94 is done. Yay! Okay. So we're going to be three times Ultra Boost with an ability here on round 95. I think that's, I don't want to say the best you could possibly ever do. You might be able to get, like, squeeze one more out. But it would be very, very, very tricky. Um, but if I had to go back in time, I could try round 94, like, a smidge better. I'm going to just wait with no help on these DDTs. We are going to pop a lot of them. Last second ability here. Let's just see what happens. Okay, let's try to micro these uh, DDTs in particular here. Um, it's difficult. There's only a few left. A few left. Aim the DDTs. Looks pretty good. Another Ultra Boost ready to go. And we manage 95. This could be not only possible, but one of the easier two-tower tubes so far. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I shouldn't get that ahead of myself here. Um, we still have to beat the bad balloon. You know, that obviously, out of anything here, the trickiest round in this entirety is going to be the bad balloon. Guaranteed. No arguments. It's going to be. One thing I can do is I can try to get 10 times ultra boosted, uh, uh, pop it on, and still try to get some ultra boost on my ultra boost. Though, to be honest, it might be a waste. Maybe. But we can try. Like I said, not sure if it's worth, but we can try to keep Zuma God alive for a pretty long time here. Um... I think I could probably use my ability here on, on the end of uh, 96 if I need to. Uh, and that would allow me to get one more Ultra Boost on my Ultra Boost, possibly. But I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. L let's just do it. 97 shouldn't be that big of a deal, in my opinion. It's a nice slow round, and we're going to get a lot of Ultra Boosts out of it. The question is, can we just take it down right now without any help? We might be able to. I'm going to play it slow here. Uh, unbelievably, we do. We have the ability ready to go and everything. So I'm going to start by popping some of the Zoma Gods in here, but I actually don't want to finish them off. I will admit that I am playing a dangerous game right now, trying to keep Zoma Gods alive as long as possible to the back of the map. is kind of goofy. Uh, if we lose, though, we lose. You know, it's no big deal. Just have to restart here. Just kind of a bit of a time suck, bit of a time waste here. 
I don't want to use my ability though, I need it for round 98. So reinforce balloons to the back though with a nine times overclocked ultra uh uh pop and all. It's close. Then we do it, we manage. All right, we're gonna try something crazy. We're gonna go for an ultra boosted ultra boost on round 98. I'm already at five times. So uh, this, I don't think is gonna be the hugest problem. Probably. Plus I get to use a pop and all ability to just stall things for a little bit in here. Again, I wanna keep someone gods alive if possible because I'd like to get more abilities out of it. Okay, this is pretty scary, not gonna lie. I don't have an ultra boost ready. I got, I'm in the very, very back here with Moabs up the wazizzle. Um, it's tight. Oh, dang! So just to be clear, round 98 is totally beatable but I am definitely trying way too hard to make sure that I get double Ultra Boost on my Ultra Boost here up to time six. It's not even anything ridiculous here, but it's something. Um, I finally have to swap to a Ultra Boost on my uh, Papanaw here, and that should keep me alive for a quick second. Then we gotta decide, do we wanna Ultra Boost this guy or the Ultra Boost again? I think we're just gonna go for the mortar here. Let's not do anything, do anything too fancy, right? Or should we? Okay, I can't. I pop up some of the gods, so. We're just gonna do this. Bam, just sizzles up. Uh, might be the wrong answer, might be the right answer. Not entirely sure yet, but there we go. Nice slow poppages here. Slow poppages. 98. We're just gonna leave it at the back back here. I think we're good. Can't use an ability though. Um, looks alright. In the very back we do, we pop it. Alright, so we got an ability here on round 99. I am just gonna ultra boost this guy because it might lead into a round 100 ultra boost thing. Uh, do I need to use the ability here? Yes, I do. So that's okay. We're gonna lose. We're gonna use the abilities to smidge earlier. And believe it or not, that seems silly, right? Like, oh my god, like one second earlier. Does that really matter here? It could. It really could. So we're gonna go for a slightly earlier um, ability here. We're gonna aim most of the DTs in the front here. I don't want to say keep them alive as long as possible, but yeah, just play it out. There it is, DDTs are done, and now I want to try to get my ability back. Uh, cause that's how we get extra damage out of this thing. So far though, looking pretty good. Lots of popping power on a bad. Um, the ability's gonna be like the key here, though. I, I might have used two abilities, by the way. So here we go, first ability is up. You can see the damage just skyrocket here. Uh, we need about 30,000 pops total on this guy, so I don't know if that's gonna be, but probably like 15k or something like that at the end. Uh, still a little bit on the low end. I need one more ability to pop these DDTs in the back, though. Try to timing, trying to time it is very tricky, but it looks all right. As soon as we get those DDTs out, we're going to use that ability, and it should be a GG. Come on, there it is. Ability. GG against the Zoomer Gertz. Come on, take them down. There's no way we can't. We've taken down two Zoomer Gods in the very back before. And even popping Oh, Ultra Boost 2 Tower Chimps is possible. Holy crap, dude. This is ridiculous. And we get a zero, zero, zero sniper. <laughs> Believe it or not, when I started this video off, I was expecting to maybe get like one or two towers going, but I, 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 I feel like I still have more room to grow. I have more towers that I want to try. Like I want to try, I want to try doing it with the biggest one now, if I can do it with a pop and all. I want to try with the Pluto's iteration, because that would be freaking awesome. I want to try it with the Sentry Champion, because I think that's really, really cool, and it's actually a really powerful tower, but purples are usually an issue. Not that much, though, with an overclocked or ultra-boosted engineer. And I want to try it with something like a P Popsidon. So, like, there's a lot of towers that are really... Oh, and a Super Monkey! Tech Terror anti blue But I'm just out of time for today, guys. I'm so sorry. It's been a really, really, really long video so far. We've already two tower chimps with six different monkeys already. That's absurd! If you guys enjoyed, though, press that like button. I'm gonna have a part two eventually. Subscribe if you want to. And have a super duper delicious day.